Hi, Colin. Hey, Michael. It's such a pleasure to be with you, and we're so grateful that you decided to be a natural history filmmaker. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's a, I've had fun. Well, I'm just curious. How did you get so patient to wait for those magical moments? Um, well, actually, I'm not a very patient person, actually. Uh, it's a, that's one <laughs> of the say, hey, animals, get together, do it, come on. Yeah, that, 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 they, are, they are annoying animals. They won't do things <laughs> when you want them to. But that's part of, the, that's part of the, the challenge and the joy of it. When it happens, you get, you know, it's, it, makes it makes the success all the more sweeter, I suppose. Well, the way you captured it is breathtaking. We're going to talk about the two releases, one in the theaters, one on DVD in a second. But let's go back to the, I guess, your life-changing moment when you're Emmy, you know, uh, Emmy nominated for Life. How did that change your life? I know Oprah Winfrey narrated that. Um, well, it's always, I mean, th that, that Life series was a, was a real labor of love. Um, and, but then again, I think every project I've done, you have, they are all labors of love in a way. You, do t you always immerse yourself in these projects um, massively because they do take over your life. Because every single um, trip you go on is like is setting up an expedition. You know, they are, the logistics of them is enormous. So um, Every time, every time you do one, you think to yourself, well, this is going to be the one. This is the one that I'm going to really throw everything at. And when you eventually sometimes get, um, it gets recognized by the people like the Emmys, then it's a great, it's a great moment, actually. But that's only part of it. The, the reward of it actually is really f to show people and for the, for the audiences to feed back. The best, the best result is when the audiences say, I saw that and I look at nature in a different way completely from how I saw nature before I saw your show or your film. Well, let's talk about the theatrical release. Daniel Craig is narrating this one. It's called One Life, but take us behind the scenes. Do you and your crew go out and just film tons of footage and then try to figure the story out? How does it get all pieced together? <laughs> well, no, you could, I mean, you could, you could do that, but and then it'd probably take us 20 years to make. Um, <laughs> no, it's, we had a very clear idea about the stories that we wanted to tell. I mean, when you, one of the things, as I was saying, you know, trying to look for, an animal stories and, and animal characters that the audience would connect connect with. So there's a, there's a quite a strong filter already in place that you want stories that are new, people haven't seen them before. You want stories that are going to be dramatic and and easy to understand, and you don't have to narrate too much. You know, you can see what's happening just from the pictures. And so, you know, when we started off this, we spent mo you know months and months researching it to try and find find the best stories we can, and then you very much go with a very specific story in mind that you want to tell. Um, you know, you, there's a particular element in this animal's life that is key to its survival or key to its in its life story. And you go for that particular moment in its life and then follow that. Now, it can still take you six weeks or in one case, it took us 12 weeks to get that particular piece of the story. Oh, my goodness. Wow. But, but tell us about One Life and the theatrical release. Well, that's 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 um, that's in theatres all over the country now. Um, the, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to do something in, in a, in a theatre. It's, it's, it's another opportunity to bring an audience to see, to see the nature in, a, in all its glory. And the, and the story is to follow, as I say, animals across their lives, across their life cycle, to, to try and get an insight into all the trials and tribulations they face. And what I'm really hoping is that, because I feel it, is that you'll see in their lives some reflection of your own life. You know, you, you watch it and you think to yourself, I know exactly how you feel there. You know, when a, there's a lovely story where the little frog, one of my favorites, little tiny frog, she's about the size of your thumbnail. And she, um, she's heroic. She, she looks at, she takes her little uh, tadpoles and lay, puts them in these little pools up in the, right at the top of these trees. It's like climbing the Empire State Building if it was us. And she has to, she, not only does she put them there, but she, every day she goes and feeds them Without, without fail, and it's this incredible effort. And at the end, the little baby grows into, from a tadpole into a little frog and then kind of hops off and has its life without so much as thank you, mum. And of course, no <laughs> frog would ever say thank you, but as a viewer, you think to yourself, and especially if you're a parent, I know exactly how you feel. That's what my oh, life is. That's awesome that you captured that. We're looking forward to seeing that. Tell us also the blue, I think it's the Blu-ray DVD series of your Africa, award-winning Africa series is out. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, the, since the Life uh, series and the One Life movie, that's the project I've been working on for the last three or four years. Um, 
try to tell the whole story, the story of the whole of the African continent, which I don't think has really been done before. Massive, uh, massive scale of, of uh, enterprise and taking people to bits of Africa they've never been to, showing them animals they've never seen before, and also even the more familiar animals, showing them things they do that you would never expect. For example, we have a, a giraffe fight, these two males giraffes fighting, uh, which is like something out of Rocky. It's an extra, I've never seen anything like it in my life, Ni neither of any of the crew. It's an extraordinary thing. And that's, um, so that's, uh, that's, that's coming out uh, next week on the 26th. Um, it's a, a DVD and a Blu-ray, and, and the Blu-ray is extraordinary. The detail in that oh. Blu-ray is stuff that you, you, even when you watch it on a screen, on a TV, you don't see it. When you sit on that Blu-ray, it's amazing. Wow, you are amazing. Thank you for the time and the patience that you've taken with your crew to capture these magical moments and uh, we, we treasure them and thank you so much for your hard work. It's a pleasure. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. We will for sure. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.